All right, this video is over the periodic table. So the periodic table is very important. If you can read and interpret the periodic table, you can know a lot about chemistry. All right, so the first guy to start kind of organizing the periodic table was Dmitri Mendeleev. So he's known as the father. Um, and he did a pretty good job. He put his elements in increasing atomic weight um, and by the way that they reacted. And it was okay, um, but there were some problems. Then along comes Mosley, and he reorganized the elements by atomic number. And that's how we have it today. And by, and by doing that, um, he resolved a lot of the problems that Mendeleev's arrangement had. So when we organize the elements in order of increasing atomic number, we start to see all these patterns in reactivity and valence electrons and all these things that use us, help us to predict um, stuff about the elements. So as you go across, those are called periods, and they don't really have anything in common otherwise, other than that they're in the same energy level. Now the vertical columns are called groups or families, and we'll name these in class. They react the same way because they have the same number of valence electrons. So they have lots of things in common, the groups. All right, then you can divide up the periodic table into three main groups, metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Physical properties of metals, they're shiny, good conductors of heat and electricity. Um, they lose electrons easily. It's a chemical property. And as you can see, most of the periodic table is made up of metals. Then you have nonmetals, and they're the exact opposite of metals. They have no luster, they don't conduct um, heat or electricity, you can't shape them any, into anything, and they, um, they gain electrons. Then you have metalloids, and they have properties of metals and nonmetals, so like aluminum. Aluminum is a horrible conductor of heat and electricity. If you, if you use aluminum foil in the oven, you can pretty much touch it as soon as it gets out of the oven. But it's nice and shiny like a metal. All right, answer these questions and we'll check them in class.